A man riding a bike cross country to raise awareness for cancer stopped in Eugene today. News Source 16's Angela Brower shows us how Jason Lowen hopes to raise thousands for national and local cancer organizations. Brian, just talking with Jason, you can really feel his hope, his optimism, and really his confidence in this journey. And he says that's really what it's all about. Lowen started in Astoria a few days ago and stopped at the Willamette Valley Cancer Institute today. There he talked with doctors and patients about his project. He's riding 4,000 miles from Oregon to his home in North Carolina, a mile for the 4,000 patients diagnosed with cancer every day. Lowen has never had cancer himself, but he's known people who passed from it. And he says getting up to ride every day, well, it's just one mile at a time, just like getting up to face a deadly disease like cancer. If you don't have that hope and inspiration, the journey's gonna end very soon. Um, and that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, I'm hoping to inspire, um, to, to you know, spread that message that there is hope and there are people willing to go out on a limb for them. In unity, we will beat cancer, but in the meantime, we need to provide the best possible support programs for those fighting today. Lowen is collecting donations along the way. All of the money he raises in each state goes back to the hospitals in that state. Those who work at the Willamette Valley Cancer Institute say Lowen's optimism is helping patients more than just financially. People immediately connect with that and they, you gain energy from that. And that's one of the things that the Believe Institute is about, is you find energy in that hope, energy to help you fight cancer. Lowen met with some patients today, listened to their stories, and gave them shirts and stickers. When he arrived in Eugene, he had some bright problems, but he plans to get them fixed this afternoon and leave tomorrow. Now, the full interview I had with Lowen is online. You can just go to KMCR.com, and there you'll also find how you can help donate to the cause. In the newsroom, I'm Angela Brower, News Source 16.